Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It's me and the Critters. Of course, you know that. It is uh, September 26, 2018. It is Thursday afternoon at 3.39 p.m. Yes, I keep looking at my computer to see what time it is. Oh, Lord, these glasses are so dirty. Why, didn't you let, why did you let me get on here with these glasses so horribly dirty? I just can't believe it. I hope you all are having a good day. I am. Having a better day than yesterday, let's say that. Doing a little bit of uh, um, switching around on, on what I think is my priorities and stuff, and I'll explain that in a minute. There, hopefully now I can see you better. Oh yeah, much better. Much, much better. Let me get a little closer. Howdy, howdy. Um... One thing I want to show you guys real quick before I launch into the weather and stuff is, is I, you know, I, I, I make so many hats all the time, like so many of you guys do. But once in a while you get one that you just really love. And I just want to show this one a little early. This is that one I was working on. And see, these are the ridges and stuff. Um, a little snowflake here. And it's got a little curly cue right up here. And I just love this. This is a small adult. I would wear something like this. Hey, if you got to wear something to keep your head warm, you know, it needs a pretty lightweight anyway. Uh, you know, but yeah, I really love how that turned out. I was thrilled with it. I wanted to show you guys. I sat and finished that this morning, but let me launch into the weather right now. Let's see. Why did you do that? It's not what I wanted you to do at all. Okay. Touch the wrong thing. It is currently 97 degrees. Let me back off here a little bit there. And it feels like 106. The high today was supposed to be 96. The low tonight will be 74. 10% chance of rain. Oh, 20 now. Humidity is at 42%. And the wind is 7 miles per hour from the south. The sunrise was at 727 a.m. and the sunset was at 7.29. It will be at 7.29 p.m. Let's see. Tomorrow is supposed to be pretty much the same, except for it's only be, supposed to be 91 and a 10% chance of rain. So that's good. I always like to turn my phone upside down when I get done with that. So if I get text messages and stuff, it's not um, bothering me. So, um, so you know, is anything different? Anything different at all? I cut my bangs. Yeah, I couldn't take it. I don't like, and I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people it looks really good on them, but I don't like bangs or hair in my face. And I, I think my grandmother always, and I told you guys before, she'd always get hair in your in your face. She'd always walk up to you and she'd divide. Yeah, <laughs> if she wanted to see your eyes. But um, I don't think I want to go as short as I did last time. Because I kind of a little freaked out about him shaving my head. You know, shaving the back of my hair and the sides and stuff. Um, and again, it felt really good and stuff, but it's just a little shorter than I really want to go. About the length it is right now is really what I, I like. And, um, you know, but I, I told her to do it that short. It's nothing to do with her. Um, she did a great haircut. And um, I'll go in in a month or so and have her even stuff even everything out and everything, but, um, yeah, so I decided, well, I just want to cut my bangs, and, and that's what I did. So, um, like I said, having a much better day. We both slept pretty well last night. Mr. Heidi slept very well last night, and that was great to see. Um, his hip is just killing him, and he even said he was surprised he was able to fall asleep so, so well. And stay asleep because that hip was just killing him. Uh, definitely can, has to use a cane all the time. It's just not even an option. Um, but he makes the best of it. Well, we've been talking some about, you know, financial planning and, and whatnot. And um, also about my thinking I always have to be perfect and do everything, you know, that, I mean, the house is clean, don't get me wrong, but I'm, like, I want it immaculate and, and stuff, and, um, 
But then I'm mad because I don't want to spend all my time cleaning house. You know, and I don't want to spend all my time cooking. You know. So we're going to start it where it, we exchange every other night uh, for cooking. And, um, you know, and also that I realize I don't have to um, have everything be perfect. So I've divided up the housework. Uh, you know, a little bit better, um, and that I want my main focus to be my artwork. That's what I want my main focus every day to be, not, oh, I've got to clean this, clean this, this, and this. I'm not raising kids anymore. This house doesn't get that dirty. Um, but I want my main focus to be, oh, I'm going to go in and work on this, or I'm going to go in and work on that. Why am I not? Why am I holding back? I held back for so many years because I did have small children. It's really, really difficult when you have small children to be able to, you can't leave any of your artwork out. You can't really go into a room and, and, and work, and you know, unless you have them in daycare, preschool, or somebody watching them, you know. So why am I not? Why am I just holding back? There's so many things I want to do artistically, and it's like, well, do it. Do it. You know, Brad is so supportive and stuff, and he loves nothing more than when I'm working on something. So it's like, just do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I did that this morning. I finally, first I sat and finished that hat, because I really haven't had much, hardly any time to um, loom and loom knit. And I really, you guys know I, I love to loom knit. Um, especially the hats for, for the 50, hats for 50 states. So, I sat and I finished that hat. And I watched some documentaries on HBO. I made a whole list yesterday of documentaries. I went through the whole list that I wanted to see and crossing them off. Um, and then I went in and painted. Been a long time in there painting. And now that's got to dry before I can do any more. Uh, and then the next step will be the final step. So, you know, if I added some mother of pearl with some white into some of the uh, parts of the tree, so I'll have to see how that dries, what kind of effect it created. So, um, besides that, um, then I came out here and vacuumed, you know, picked up, picked up the... Uh, front room and vacuumed, and I mopped out in the hallway and the kitchen. Um, I always make both of our beds when I get up and um, freshened up the bathroom. And now all I have to do is go out and um, this is the day that I clean the kitchen more, like wipe off the the cabinets and uh, you know move stuff and wipe all the way back in the counter and. And all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be doing that. Cook dinner. You know. And so. But it's been a much better day. It's like. So I mean. When people ask me what I am. Now it took me years and years. To even finally say I'm an artist. And then it's, it's like. Well then be one. Why are you so afraid to just. I mean just be one. You know, it doesn't matter if I never sell any artwork again. I mean, it feels so good when you do. It feels so good when somebody loves your artwork. But as long as I love it, you know, it doesn't matter. So, um, anyway, that's what I'm going to be uh, doing. Is I'm just going to be focusing more on the art and doing things I enjoy, like the loom knitting and stuff, because I really do enjoy that. So, um, you know. But, uh, what else? That's about it. Oh, yeah, does it ever amaze you that, okay, on the, on the back side of our trailer, see, I don't know my directions very well. I've always been like that. Um, but on the back side of our trailer, to me it would be east, but I'm not sure, is where the sun comes in. So, we do have all those windows blocked. We took... I don't know if you remember, we took the RV um, shades uh, that we had bought 
and were able to use many large windows. Well, I had one, the kitchen window on that side was just not, but I only had one shade. I really needed two, and so there was a gap about this. The sun was still coming in, and it gets that kitchen so hot. I mean, kitchens are hot anyway, right? So, um, I had one of the accordion-style um, shade, windshield shades. So, I put that there, and it just fit perfectly, but I still had a gap like this up on top. And I'm sitting here, and I was doing something, and I look, and it's like, why does on my front room windows those shades fit perfectly? But the same shade, it, it does like to pop up windshield shades, but they're made for RVs. Um, why does it not fit in the kitchen? It's like, dude, you needed to turn it long ways, and it would fit just like it did in the kitchen, in the front room. How long have we lived here now, people? Like, really? Do you ever amaze yourself like that, too? You're like, oh, dang, girl. I might need to recharge these brain cells, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. So, now it's great, you know. It's great. So, and like that keeps that, that a lot cooler. Um, you know, I wish we didn't have to cover up the windows. I don't like it when we have to cover up windows. It's like these are on the front side of the trailer and, and so you get some light stuff but you know you do what you got to do right that's right so what else besides that um not really anything i'm feeling better um, that's about all that's going on of course we're waiting for we have to get paid tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow night we're going to Walmart just to get some stuff we need. Like I need to get a couple rugs. I need to get some tarts because I mean I am hurting for wax melt people. I am so hurt. I, I've never been this low. I've never been this low. Not even when we were getting ready to move. You know, but you know you do what you have to do. Um, and what's Oh, I was going to look at yarn, but my friend Rebecca, dear sweet Rebecca and her little one, uh, she said she had some extra yarn she's going to send my way. So I'm excited about that. That was so sweet of her, you know. And she asked me what, if I, what, you know, if I can take baby yarn. I can take any type of yarn anybody has. If you bought some yarn that, that maybe not working out for this project or that project, Send it my way. Oh, I can use every type of yarn. You know the super, super fine baby yarn? It's almost like crochet thread. That makes great pom-poms. It does. It really does. That makes some of the nicest pom-poms. You would, you know. I don't waste anything, honey child. I just don't. <laughs> so, um. But yeah. And what else? I need to get something. I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. You need to get something from the, that side. Hmm. I don't remember. And then um, he wanted to take me out to dinner, but I don't want to spend 50 bucks out on dinner. Not right now. Not when we're just recovering from being months and months off, you know, and plus a dog needs dog food. I mean, you know, and her, her dog is a, or her dog food is prescription, and you know that. She's the one that gets a bladder stone. And, you know, her dog food is, is a 27.5 pound bag and it's 77 something. Um, but, you know, a surgery for her would be about 1300 to 1500 emergency one again. So, you know, you do what you have to do. Um, you know, and I was put, um, comparing some prices on Chewy to our grocery store. Like the canned cat food, just a frisky. And it is cheaper there. So I'm just going to order it through there. Um, you know, dog biscuits, same way. But um, what else? Yep, got to order dog food for Nixie. And um, 
I don't know. I said it's been really boring, but I feel like, you know, I see that there's a lot of people not making any content on YouTube. And it's like, come on, guys. You know, some of us really enjoy, even if you don't have anything to talk about. Because maybe that's what brings us to you. It's because we can relate. And we're like, yeah, we get you. You know, there's just lots of days. There's not really anything going on. And, and you're, you're, you're blessed for those. And, um... You know, just the normalcy and, and stuff. It's, it's nice, you know, to hear, hey, yeah, I dusted, or hey, yeah, I vacuumed, or, you know, I did the cat litter box before I started painting today because the cat litter box is in the closet in the art studio right by where I sit. And, you know, I do it a couple of times a week because she's only one cat. And, you know, like, have you guys ever noticed? How stinky your cat, when they poop, and it's got some odor, man. I mean, it can, it can waft through the entire house, and you would swear that you had 16 cats, and you're like, honey, child. But yeah, I know what that. Because Brad and I will be sitting out here watching TV, and he'll be like, Angel just must have got in there and taken a dump. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we watched um, season eight, the first episode of um, uh, American Horror Story on uh, Netflix last night. That was really nice. That was really nice. We enjoyed that. We tried to pick a show. Um, I am watching Blacklist. Um, I'm starting to kind of lose interest in it. It's becoming a little too spy-ish. I guess I just need to pay attention more. And, you know, I will. Because, uh, you know, Brad really likes the show. I like the show. I just need to, you know. You're not going to like it. Every episode not going to be especially your cup of tea. You know, like it is with anything. Um, and, um, but I do like the series. So, I'm going to hang in there. We just started it, so, you know. But, uh, that's really not anything else going on, guys. Just, you know, beautiful day out. And, you know, even though it's hot. And, yeah. I got up about 5.30 this morning. That's about the time I used to get up. Once in a while, I won't get up till the alarm goes off at 6. But, uh, then I like to get up early and give myself a little bit of time. Get myself righted. <laughs> so, Anyway, I hope you're all having a good day, and remember that I love you, and, um, uh, you know, your friendship means everything to me, you know, you know, I do cherish your friendship so very much, and that, um, I think you're awesome, and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow, so you guys have a good evening.